So we're gonna fall to our right hip, grab the toes, pull the heel up the butt, okay? Now we're gonna go further with this for stalling. So I'm gonna take my left hand and grab the heel and take my right hand and put him in a headlock here. Or footlock minus lock and board. Okay, this is just, again, it's controlling him for longer. He's not gonna get out by use of his legs. He's stuck where he is. This is a stalling tactic, if anything. Oh, EBI overtime, just sit here and wait. You're down 10 seconds, okay, hang out here. They're thinking about all this up here. While this allows us to start doing things like Summer's Eve, douchebag, whatever. So we got control, but we do want the arm really bad and we can't get it out. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna take this left hand and I'm gonna windshield wipe towards his hands. Pinch the knees, hips forward. Then I will let this stall tactic go. Take my right elbow over his arm between my arm and his arm right there, elbow into my belly button. Now I want these hands to touch, so I can kind of do it, make your life easier. Punch forward with this left arm, then bring it back. Punch forward, bring it back. Gable grip. Don't be so dependent on just pushing and pulling with your arms. Let your whole torso do the work. So look, I look over my left shoulder, that'll help me rotate, and my body rotates to the left. Now, he does nothing and I keep going, this is a shoulder lock. So he feels the pressure and starts to extend his arm. Fall to the right uh, forearm slash hip. Get your left foot on the floor, lift your hips up, and your arm is snapped. Okay? Grab the toes, hold the heel right there. If you get one hand, that's fine. Windshield wipe, pull out the arm, elbow to the belly, hands together. Look over the left shoulder, rotate, rotate, rotate. If you're strong enough, you can get the shoulder. Most likely he'll extend his arm. Done. Got it? Fantastic. Hey. Hey. <laughs>